Hey everybody, I wanted to come on here and record a video because I'm about to go into, let me get some better lighting, I'm about to go into a place and um, apply for an opportunity, that's how I'm going to say it. This lighting, I'm sorry y'all, it's terrible and I just can't really get it, here's, this is okay, um, apply for an opportunity and I want to say this a lot of all of my videos I need to say to myself because there are things in my videos that I talk to myself and I teach myself, excuse me, of the, a lot of these things. While I was driving, I mean, I talked to myself in the public and I was thinking about some concepts of the impossibles of life, as I'll say. Because a lot of people, including myself, sometimes we get so close to success when our hands start trembling and our breath starts to be a bit faint and we just feel so nervous and anxious and we pull away because we're fr fearful of something. Those are the times where if we had just pushed through and really just encouraged ourselves to do something major, that we would have been able to get these major results that we were seeking. And I was thinking when I said the impossibilities, I'll say instead of impossibles, that's not a word of life. Um, I don't think anything is impossible. I say the three key things, as I normally use a trinity when I speak, it, to accomplish anything is time knowledge and patience with enough time knowledge and patience you can do anything i don't care if it's illegal i don't care if it's wrong i don't care if it's right quote unquote i don't care what it is whatever it is that you want to do you can do it because think of it some of these people who started these organizations and corporate entities these businesses they were not even around to see the success but when we go back to their websites and research these companies, we see these companies were started and founded by individuals who are dead and now the businesses and the corporations or conglomerates are worth millions or billions of dollars. So saying that to say that you can really say with confidence that it was that original founder who did that because they had the idea and they started it and they followed through and they, in excited others and enlisted others to continue on their dream even after they were dead so I kind of have to stop sometimes and I'm excited excuse me guys when I get excited and ha about something I get passionate and I just can't control my voice inflections but I have to tell myself because I get so down and a lot of people watch my videos and probably think wow she's always encouraged she's always this she's always that but you know I second guess myself sometimes and a lot of times I put myself in positions that I shouldn't be in if I just be confident and push through when I get afraid and push through when I get anxious and my hands start shaking when my voice is trembling and I just need to just know that everything is possible that I want to do, whether I'm going to do it with my own hands or not. For instance, I have a daughter. If I do enough things in my lifetime, if even if I'm meant to die at 30 years of age, if I push through every time that I'm nervous, as close as I've come to some amazing opportunities, she will accomplish these things. And those who come after me, those that I've excited and incited to do these things, are going to continue on these great things that we start now. So I'm just making this video to be encouraging and to let you guys know that time, patience, and knowledge are the keys to everything and nothing is impossible with those things. And really just spend some time meditating and thinking on that today because I think you'll find that it'll change your day and it'll change your life. And this is Brandilyn Gill, Youth Motivational Speaker endorsed by HISD. I have a book out uh, called Life. It's on my website. Visit, connect with me. I love to connect. And if you need a speaker and you think I'm somebody that you think is good enough to be a speaker for your organization, your event. Don't hesitate. I'd love to come and share my gift.